Hey guys, it is very, very rare that you do not have your mobile phone in your hand. Here is how we can use that to your advantage. So, I have picked some lovely little apps for you here that, that are really good for your revision. So, I'm going to go through them and explain to you how you can use them all. So, first of all, we have the, the BBC Bite Size and then the Revision Guides. These are the obvious ones you should have in your phone. The BBC Bite Size one is free and it's really, really good. You can just sit there, open up a little, open up the app when you've got a bit of free time, when you're on the bus, when you're waiting for someone, and just do a little bit of revision. Every little bit helps. Now, the BBC Bite Size and the Revision Guides apps are just going to give you loads and loads of information, but you need a way for it to sink in. So a really, really good one is this little one up here. Can you see that? Quizlet. Love Quizlet. It's like, it's a flashcard. It's a mobile flashcard. Now, it works really, really well for learning key terms, really, really well for learning languages. You type it in and then you can play matching games or you can learn, you can have it as flashcards. There's the mobile phone version and then separately there's the version of the computer. Same stuff in there, but you get to fire little space rockets at it, so that's really, really cool. And you don't have to make your own quizzes if you don't want to. There are loads and loads already out there. So just search for GCSE Science on Quizlet, add the quiz to whatever you want to add it to, whether you've made a class, or whether you just want to do it for yourself, and then you can just go through the flashcards or you can match things up. This is a great way for you to learn stuff. The other one that I get my students to use a lot is this one in here. So Edpuzzle. I use Edpuzzle a lot. This is great for putting multiple choice questions over the top of videos and if you want to see that then you're going to have to go over to Patreon or Connor so you can see how to get onto that. But this is a really good way of me giving you questions and then explaining the answers to you straight after. Instead of just there being loads of questions, me giving you the answer and you not knowing how to get between the two of them. So the other one, now this, this might be a bit of a weird one for me to recommend, but it's the Scottish Qualifications Authority timetable planning. This one just up here in the corner. This is a really, really good one. You can put all your exams in there, you can give them priorities, you can tell it how much time you want to spend on your revision for each topic and it will help you sort out a timetable. So if you don't want to do it like I do it with loads and loads of post-it notes, do it on your phone. Then you can say yes I've done that and it'll give you like a little smiley face or whatever. So that's a good way of doing it. Now I'm always telling you when you study not to do it in really long chunks, to break it down into short, short 25 minute segments and have a 5 minute break. Now this actually has a name, it's called the Pomodoro Technique and you can get, just in there, a little app time everything for you. So you just get your phone out, put it on the side, click to start your timer and then once it goes off you know you're 25 minutes up and you cannot touch your phone in that 25 minutes. And this is a really good way of making your phone do something else so that it's being useful so you don't feel separated from it but you can't actually touch it. So just turn off all of your alerts. So phones, incredibly useful things and let's make them useful in your vision as well. Hey guys, thanks for watching. I really hope you found this video helpful. If you want to say thank you or if you want access to my online classroom priority video requests or to all the books I'm publishing, you can pop over to Conos or keep up to date with everything on my website. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss anything. And if you follow me on Twitter or like me on Facebook, you'll get all the updates there. Thanks for watching guys. I really hope you found this helpful. Anything else you need, any other help you need, just let me know below.